Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. In today's video, we are going to talk about six reasons why it is so easy to get fat. So let's get started. So let's just jump right into it with number one, and that is low carb tolerance. If you have a low carb tolerance and you consume a diet that has a moderate to moderately high amount of carbohydrates, you may find that it is extremely easy to gain body fat. And the reason for this is the body can store between 400 and 700 grams of carbs depending on your size and muscle mass. The body will store carbohydrates in the muscle cells, in the liver, and a very very, very small amount in the blood. I am not talking about excess carbohydrate consumption. If you eat a ton of pasta, for instance, or even just a, a modest plate of pasta, right? One gram of carbohydrates is going to bind 2.7 grams of water, roughly three grams of water for every gram of carbs. So the water solvation effect of carbohydrates actually makes it difficult for your body to store carbohydrates in that form as usable fuel because a dietary fats, those molecules actually condense much tighter. If you even just look at like a piece of like bread, cake, carbs are very big and fluffy where fats are extremely dense. And because of this dense molecular structure of the fat, fatty molecules, your body is more likely to store fat as a fuel source because it can be stored more efficiently in the event of scarcity. So the thing is, I'm not talking about overeating. I'm talking about you genuinely having a low carb tolerance. That means when you eat carbohydrates, your body is very resistant to insulin. So when you eat carbohydrates, it spikes your blood sugar. When you have a spike in your blood sugar, the pancreas sends the insulin, which is a messenger hormone to shuttle that glucose out of the blood and into the cells. When that process happens, if your cells are resistant to receiving that glucose, your body is going to be starving on a cellular level. And as a result, you don't get the energy. You are still hungry and you are going to take all those calories you just ate and store them as fat. So if you are not sure what your carb tolerance level is, um, go below or see this other video of mine for a complete quiz that will help you figure out what your carbohydrate tolerance level is. Now, number two, it is your menstrual cycle. When you are on your cycle, most women are going to feel like you are extremely hungry. You are going to feel like you are craving very specific things and this is for good reason because your hormones have shifted. When you ovulate, which happens in the middle of your cycle, your body releases an egg prime for fertilization. When that egg is not fertilized, all of that excess estrogen is going to be forced out of your body and you are going to have your period by around day 28 in that cycle. When this happens, your body is expending a lot of extra hormonal energy. And as a result of that, your cravings are going to go up. Your resistance to insulin actually goes down and your cravings for sugar go up at the same time. It is actually a perfect storm to facilitate weight gain if you are not careful. So when you are on your period or those days leading right up to it, instead of trying to force yourself to stay perfectly on your diet and end up binging, what I recommend you do is you intentionally increase your calories by 100 to 300 calories. I'd say you could go a maximum of 300 and get those extra calories from quality dietary fats and quality carbohydrates that are going to be complex. You also want to boost your fiber intake, get lots of veggies, lots of leafy greens, which is going to help naturally lower your insulin because when you eat vegetables, it doesn't spike your insulin and it's going to slow down that entire process. Now, it may feel like you are gaining some temporary water retention, which is normal, but it doesn't need to turn into fat gain if you follow those tips. So number three is menopause. And menopause, the technical definition of menopause is the one year anniversary of no longer getting your period. And menopause is technically a one day event, but this cycle is a big hormonal fluctuation and here is why. When your body ovulates on day 14 of your cycle, your body releases an egg. And again, that egg is prime for fertilization. When you are approaching menopause, you stop 
ovulating. So when your body doesn't ovulate at day 14, ovulation initiates the process for you to have your period if you, if you don't get fertilized. And what that does is it shifts your estrogen content to be lower. You know, it comes out your body in the form of your period. Now, when that doesn't happen, what a lot of people don't realize is that excess estrogen causes fat gain. Repeat, excess estrogen causes fat gain. And it can be a nightmare of a situation because your body is no longer ovulating and you don't have a way to naturally detox all of these excess estrogens. And a lot of women in menopause may think that it's a genetic thing that they're gaining weight. They may think that like it's them. They may think that they're doing something wrong. It is not you, it is your hormones and you are in a state of estrogen estrogen dominance. There is a way to reorganize your nutrition to naturally detox the excess estrogens. And this is done by going higher in fiber, higher in dietary fats, lower in complex carbohydrates, and manipulating that entire system. If you guys need help with that, you can contact me one-on-one -on -one coaching, a meal plan, or a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Reason number four that you are gaining fat is a declining metabolism. When your metabolic rate drops, you are not going to be able to burn as much energy. And when you can't burn energy, your body needs to be in a caloric deficit to support fat loss. So what does this mean? Declining metabolism can come from a lot of things. It can come from thyroid dysfunction. When you have a thyroid issue, I want you to think of it like the check engine light being on on the dashboard of your car. It is a warning sign that there are some fundamental things that are off. So you can definitely get on medication to help address your thyroid, work with a doctor. You obviously need to address your nutrition properly during that process, but declining metabolism is very closely related to thyroid dysfunction. It is very closely related to under eating for too long. So if you've been dieting for a very, 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 very long time, and you've not been interspersing refeeds to help boost your leptin levels, which will allow you to continue on and boost your metabolism, metabolism, you may need to rethink your approach. Now, reason number five that you are gaining body fat is reduced activity. With so many of us working at home or on the computers, or on the phone, it is becoming like <laughs> less natural to be moving around and moving around outside. Even the fact that so many people work from home now, at least when you were in the office, maybe you need to go up and down the steps to different floors, walk around to like a coworker's desk, but now everything is just you know, virtual. So you need to be mindful of how much activity you are getting. One thing I love to have my clients do is to have them track their steps, track their daily movement. If you really wanna be moving along and having some really good results, I suggest aiming for 10,000 steps a day, but even 5,000 steps a day is a fantastic starting point if you have been completely sedentary and inactive. Again, because you need to be in a caloric deficit to support fat loss. And last but not least, reason number six that you may be gaining fat is water retention. Now I say water retention because water retention can cause you to gain weight. It doesn't necessarily need to translate into fat gain, but it can. Water retention can be the result of too much salt. It could be the result of DOMS, which is delayed onset muscle soreness after you've been doing a new training regimen. Water retention can be a food intolerance. Water retention can be so many specific things, but I think that we need to learn to delineate between water retention and fat gain. And nine times out of 10, water retention is not fat gain. It is just water retention. So comment below which of these six things you struggle with. Again, number one, low carb tolerance. Number two, your menstrual cycle. Number three, menopause. Number four, declining metabolism. Five, reduced activity. Or six, water retention. Comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell if you wanna get a notification when I go live here on the channel or if you wanna be the first to know when a new video Video goes live. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.